It is a castle. Dang it, guys! What do I do? I got an idea. Welcome back. We're Wages of Sin. I'm Dan Beck. I'm Eric Miller. And I'm Stephen Gill. And I'm Jeremy Garcia. I just want to thank y'all for giving me a hand. What did we do today? We watched Army of Darkness. What a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. In an age of darkness. May God have mercy upon your souls. Something's wrong. Something's amiss. At a time of evil. You shall die! When the world needed a hero. The swallow us all! Anybody die! What it got was him. Groovy. You know your shoelace is untied. He's a 20th century guy. For that arrogance, I shall see you dead. Trapped in the Middle Ages. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. This is my boomstick! Now, let's talk about how I get back home. Or told by a mystical book. Within its pages are passages that can send you back to your time. Forewarned by a wise man. You must recite the words Klaatu, Berata, Niktu. I got it, I got it! Fulfilled by a wise guy. Klaatu, Berata, Niktu! Army of Darkness. A man is accidentally transported to 1300 AD where he must battle an army of the dead and retrieve the Necronomicon so he can return home. That happened. It did happen. The synopsis, the movie fulfills oh. the synopsis promise. <laughs> a man. It's not just any man. It's Ash. It's Ash. What's his name? Ashley J. Williams. Ashley J. Williams. What'd you think? Jeremy, your first time. It was my first time watching it. What'd um, think? I enjoyed it. I think it's my favorite out of the three. And uh, I enjoy that type of... Uh, I think what I enjoyed most about it was the whole like uh, setting up. It, it, it very much mimicked uh, Clash of the Titans for me, which which I'm a huge fan of, especially when Ash goes out. The original. The original. The original. Only. The good one. The Ray Harryhausen one. <laughs> exactly. And then when he comes back to kind of do that whole, it's like uh, setting up for, for battle and they're kind of defending their place. I, I like the, that, that type of stuff in movies, whether it's in Lord of the Rings with Helm's Deep or something or like that. Beastmaster. Or, or Beastmaster. Or Beastmaster. Beastmaster. But uh, I like that kind of setup and fortitude to have to defend a position. And they're creating bombs and bomb arrows and different things like that. And I like that. Using science. Yep. Yeah. Ash is that's a actually science. A, that's actually a quote. <laughs> <laughs> we're going right. to use science. See, that's what I actually thought. Okay, so we saw, I, I don't want to jump straight to the ending. But with the ending when he wakes up and goes out, I thought that he, at first, my first thought was that because he had brought back all his, his automobile and the, the, the book of chemistry and all that stuff that he had like altered history or something. Because I thought I saw like, not only Big Ben you see there, but you, I thought I saw some other one. You're, you're talking movie. about the alternate ending. The alternate, the alternate ending. ending. The alternate yeah. ending. Which, there, there's many editions, like versions of this. Yeah. We watched the director's cut, new shout, factory release mm -hmm. had some extra footage some extra shots and it had the alternate ending then we watched the regular ending i like the regular ending which i guess i is like the, the regular ending that's the one i know the true ending. wait is that the that's one, the that's the, the one that leads into the stars okay series well that was definitely more entertaining so it was i like that one too all the yeah yeah i like that. She's cutting the flips <laughs> the he throws her into the trampoline and she's cutting the flips. and he still had his hand yeah. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah, still had the gauntlet for some reason. But he had a 30 30. <laughs> yeah, he was rocking With a 30 giant. <laughs> had to fit the hand, man. <laughs> but uh, it, I, I think as a, when I first watched this as a kid, this is the one I was introduced to first. 
It was definitely the safest of the three. As yeah, far it was as very campy and mm -hmm. stoogy. Mm -hmm. But I do not remember the nudity. That was in the yeah. director's cut. Yes. I, I remember seeing it as a child. The nudity? Mm -hmm. and I think, and then that explains a lot with you. It's <laughs> something <laughs> we had to rewind. And <laughs> but uh, yeah, I saw this one, then I went back and watched the others. I'm like, how do these fit together? Because they do a recap on this one. Mm -hmm. Like a 10 second. <laughs> You like the recap on this more so with the narration. It's because of the narration. Bridget it's like Fonda. I prefer with it that there's no recap at all, but you know, since there has to be since it's in there, the the narration helps it out. It makes it clear. It feels like more of a story. Well it starts him off like, you know, in that whole he's a slave and he's been in prison. Yeah, it throws us right into it. And it kinda, always been. Yeah, he's like, So I'm in thirteen hundred eighty. As near as I can figure. Which I don't know where he came to that number from. I guess he asked somebody. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> what year is this? He's like, near as I can estimate, it's 1300 it? AD. Like, All right, well. <laughs> he studied. But he, in the Evil Dead 2, you mentioned, you see in the Book of the Dead that mm -hmm. he is, you see a kind of an ash looking character. Chainsaw yeah. in the air. Prophecy. Yep. He is the man of the prophecy, the mm -hmm. chosen one. The chosen one. So he fulfills that prophecy. He in comes back and uh, introduces them to his boomstick. Yep, boomstick. I that did. Was, I think that was, that was my favorite part of the movie. One of the better scenes of that movie. I liked. My favorite part was just that dialogue. It's that I, everybody loves that fish out of water type scenario and story where somebody's bringing their culture into something else or, or vice versa. And I just, mm -hmm. I just like that because I always, I always, I've always thought about like what, what if you could go back to whatever time and show them an iPhone or something? And it's funny with bring back a shotgun and you just... So I, I, like, I like the dialogue in the movie. Shut the door. Were you raised in a barn? Yeah, you <laughs> probably, probably were raised, raised in a barn. barn. <laughs> <laughs> I like the listen here, you primitive screwheads. <laughs> that was one of the best listen ones. Listen here, you primitive screwheads. It's yeah. one of you primates that touches me. <laughs> anyway. This, I think, is the first time we hear the word, the three words. The... Klaatu. Klaatu, Barada, <laughs> Just recite the words. Platu, Berata, Niktu. I got it, I got it. Platu, Berata, Niktu. Well, Nickel. Did we not hear it in the first one? <laughs> it, it was variations, order? but I think this is the first, like, okay. true Platu, Berata. The first time they're like, these three words are the words that mean everything. And those three words were used in what other movie? It was the day the Earth stood still. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say Star Wars toys. <laughs> and, and that George Lucas named three, or the toy makers named three of the aliens at Jabba's palace. Thought to you brought that thing. Which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah, it was I cool. didn't know that. Do you own those figures? I do. <laughs> they they surprise me. I own them in Lego version and <laughs> regular. Yes, yeah, they're open. Oh. <laughs> they're played with and opened and you never know you might be one of those guys <laughs> nope no nope. <laughs> i think my least favorite part about this and about two as well it's it's those it's those it's the campy parts of the of when he's in the room with all the little versions of himself i like some of the humor of it like when he's talking to him or he's he's cursing at him or something i like the little dialogue of, of it but then the whole scenario gets a little too just it goes too comedic for me. It gets too old, silly? It gets yeah. too silly and slapstick. In the director's cut, we might have saw, I think it was shorter in the other one. I feel like there's a lot yeah, more. Yeah, there are added scenes in yeah. a lot of the uh, added graveyard scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, the nudity you talked about. Yeah, there's a lot of extra little clips in there in the director's cut. Did you like it when his face was being sucked into the false Book of the Dead? And it came out all along. He's like, I, I, I didn't like it for the story reasons, but I did like it for like I was like, oh, how they do that? Like when he's shaking it and it's going. I did like it for the for the film side of me. Like, oh, that's awesome, practical effect or something. Whoa! <laughs> Evil Dead. <laughs> uh, Man, <laughs> how cool would that have been at the at the at the, end, at the <laughs> So, I like to merit my bravery on that. <laughs> is, it, is this bravery? Well, right after you say that, now I'm gonna do it in slow motion on that camera. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You like that? You like those those goats that when you scare them, they go Arr! and just I fall over? That was, was you. I was terrified right there. that this brick wall had come apart, <laughs> brick by brick. We didn't put a very good, you know, foundation. We, we built that wall. We built this city. So anyway, he misspeaks the words, raises the army inadvertently, and then must fend them off and save the day, yes. as is the prophecy. Starts out as a coward, ends up as the king. Hail to the king, baby. Hail to the king. Baby. Was he really starting out as a coward? Yeah. He just wanted to get home. He just wanted to get home. But he wasn't a coward. I guess Because he selfish. fought that thing. Selfish. Yeah, he was selfish. It was ups and downs. He definitely kind of like shot away when, what's your name? I was like, hey. I was pillow talk, baby. <laughs> <laughs> pillow talk, baby. So should we write this? Well, we should write this. I mean, mean, it's... You okay? We got flashbacks. <laughs> a scale of one to five, five being we'll watch it again, one being never. Yep. Who anyone go first? Should I go first? Yeah, good. I'm gonna That's give good. that one five falling skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> because this is one of those movies I love so much. And I'm I just gonna for that. I'm just gonna go boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boom, you see the <laughs> his face. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So five. Stand back. I'm gonna give it five. Five Osmobiles fall into the, falling out of the sky. All right. Go <laughs> ahead, yeah, Jeremy. Me? Yeah. Yes, he hasn't um, <laughs> I think this is my favorite. Of the of three the or <laughs> of the four? Out of the three. I'm Trilogy. putting I'm putting the other Evil Dead on its own, own thing. Um, the, the newer, the 2013 one. Um, I think out of the three, it's my favorite, followed closely by the first one. I think two is my least favorite. I'm going to give this one four and a half Necronomicons. How can you half a Necronomicon? Cut it in half. Book in half. Yeah. Okay. Like a phone book. Five gauntlets. Oh, that yeah. Was I was going to take that one. You just so he wouldn't have had it. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to watch this movie again and again and again. Tonight. Just for you to theatrical cut. Then the You're going to loop that boob, aren't you? <laughs> Five exposed breasts. I think we need to get back to our Dang time. It. <laughs> Is it time to get back to our time? Yeah. Yeah. We need Lil Gil. Ooh. Lil Gil needs to recite the words, send us back to the present. Yep. Whenever you're watching, it's the present of your time right now. Do you know <laughs> do we know where Lil Gil is? Right, let's go find him. Yeah, we right. got to. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Yep. <laughs> There's a link somewhere over here. <laughs> And we'll see you next time. So are we gonna get back? Take a look. Let's see. It's the old Necronomicon has to say. It says here. Yeah. Take a we each take a drink from our goblet. And we say the words Klaatu Barada Niktu. Alright. Alright, keep it up. Salute, gentlemen. Bottoms up. Ah. Let's get stuff. Stone to me. You ready? Yeah. All right, together it. now. Klaatu. Klaatu. Barada. Barada. <laughs> 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 oh. Mmm. Mmm. like a racehorse. Hey, there's the cabin. It is the cabin. Let's go. Look who it is. D-Bag Gill. You are not gonna review Evil Dead 2013 with us next week. Clara, Rata, Nictu, Nasratu, fucking Anu.
<laughs> Cheers, fellas. Salud. Oh, bitter. Ooh. I don't think it tastes bad. Ooh. Ooh. Are you going to say the words? <laughs> oh, 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 crap. Was that, did we all, was it me? We all fucked oh. up. We all fucked up. <laughs> Just take it from the drink. Just take it from the drink. And action. I dressed that look back. <laughs>